Jeez. All right. So here's an example. What else can I talk about? I typically say, guys, solve for t in terms of the x equation, right? Because usually we always want our equation y equals. However, this one doesn't really look that well, right? It doesn't really look fun to solve for x. You can do it. It's not bad, right? But it's much easier to solve for y in this case. Wouldn't you agree? So let's go and do that. Solve for 4. So you could say t is equal to y over 4. Then we just take that value, what t is, and plug it into our other equation. x equals y over 4 squared minus 3. So y over 4 squared is y over 4 times y over 4, which is y squared over 16 minus 3. So again, we still want to solve for y. So all I'm going to do is add a 3 to both sides. So we have x plus 3 equals y squared over 16. Multiply by 16 on both sides. Just make sure you multiply the 16 times your whole expression. And I get y squared equals 16x plus 48. And we're going to leave it just like that. All right. And what we'll do is we're going to investigate that a little bit more. Um, do you guys remember what the shape of the graph was when x was squared? Started with the